Hey there, Sharon here from Quick Base Junkie coming to you from my home office. The following video is all about navigation buttons, creating navigation buttons in your Quick Base to take you to where you want your users to be. These videos are taken directly out of a premium course called The Secrets of API Buttons. Welcome to Quick Base Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. The Secret of API Buttons is a premium course that I offer to my students that takes you through how to create API buttons in your QuickBase, which is awesome. So awesome. I've got lots of examples right here on YouTube that you can check out of exactly how you can use API buttons. Although I have to be frank, I don't show you the nitty gritty details of how to develop those formulas. That information, my friends, is in the course. And if you want to get into that course, head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash courses. The course, let me tell you, not only do I walk you through everything step by step, detail by detail, making what is, can be very confusing, actually very simple. Plus, I've got lots of downloads and cheat sheets, so you can literally copy and paste the code that I share and build with you directly into your own QuickBase. Uh, enjoy this video on navigation buttons. It will surely help you build out your QuickBases and make them even more awesome than they are today. I've gone ahead and downloaded a QuickBase from the App Exchange called the Simple Project Manager. And here on the task table, I've added several URL buttons. I've added to each of these buttons the four formulas that you saw from the previous slides to go to a different record. Let's take a look at the first one. The formula here is to display the record in edit mode. It uses the URL root, the DBID, the action of edit record, and the record ID. Now in this case, the creators of this particular QuickBase in the App Exchange renamed the record ID number to task ID. It happens to be the exact same field, just with a different name. Let's jump back to the button. You'll notice I'm currently on the form in view mode only, or also could be called display mode. So let's click that button and see what happens. You'll now notice that the form is in edit mode. These buttons can come in handy for a variety of purposes, even though they don't contain an API. Let's take a look at the next one. The next formula was very similar to the first, only in this case I've included the DF ID for a different form. When I click on this edit button, I'm still on the same task. This happens to be task number 42 and I'm in edit mode. However, I'm on a different form. As you can tell, it's outlined uh, instead of by sections, by tabs. Let's go ahead and go back. Back on our original form, let's take a look at the third button. Similar to the others, this formula uses the URL root and the DBID as well as the edit record action. However, in this case, I've added a plus one to the task ID. In essence, when I press the button, it'll take me to edit the next task in sequential order. We'll go ahead and press the Edit Next Record button. And now you can see instead of being on task ID number 42, I'm on task ID number 43. All right, let's take a look at the last one. This last formula is a little bit interesting. In essence, what we want to do is jump back to the parent record. In this case, the projects table is the parent record of the child table, which is the tasks, and display that record in display or view mode. It just so happens that when this quick base was originally created, the name that was given to this projects table is client. It is not projects, which actually displays on the table. So this is something to bear in mind. You'll have to go ahead and look at the actual table settings in the advanced settings to see what the table alias is because it may not match what happens to be written 
on the table in the table bar at the top of your quick base. So I've got my table alias in here as DBID client, and then I've got the record ID set to the related project, which is the field on the task table that refers to the record ID on the parent project table. Back on our task, we can see that the related project, the parent project, is called Increase Web Presence. So when I click on this projects button, you'll see we've now jumped over to the projects table and are in fact on the Increase Web Presence record in display or view mode. So there's four different examples of how you can go to a record in QuickBase using a formula URL. So let's have a little fun with this lesson. Pause the video and match the desired action for a record destination to the URL formula using what you've learned so far. Go ahead, I'll wait. How did you do? The answers are in the bottom corner. Let's break these down one by one. Displaying the record in edit mode. You'll start with the URL root and the DBID, just as I've shown you before. And then you'll join that with the action to edit the record and combine that with the record ID. To display the record in edit mode on a different form, you'll start out the same, only now you'll include DFID for the form, followed by the record ID. To display the next sequential record in edit mode, or really to use any type of formula operators or functions, you'll begin again the same, use your action to edit the record, and then set your record ID to the formula you want to use. In this case, we're sequentially adding the number one to the record ID, so that way it will display the next record in the sequence. The last example is displaying the parent record in view mode. So here it'll be a little bit different. We want to use the table alias for the parent table. We'll follow that by the action dr to display the record, and then the record ID will actually be the related record. This would be the record ID for the parent, only it's what we can read off of the current child record. And if you need a little help setting up your URL formula as a button, check out the video URL formula button setup. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.